so the thing is I'm alone for a week um, yeah so that's it I'm alone and I was really nervous for this I don't know it's um, I I don't even know exactly why I'm just I like being with others um, so being for a week alone camping out alone um, that is yeah that is something but I'm also really excited I mean Yeah, so I don't have to be surrounded by a lot of people. I actually prefer to just be with one person or with a small group, just a few people. And yeah, I just uh, I just love that and being for a long time by myself, uh, something I don't do often. But um, and I also was a bit nervous to drive in in Brutus by myself because I. I've driven him multiple times already, but um, it's quite a big truck, so it's not the easiest car to drive, but, oh, thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> um, but this morning I had to drive to one of the towns because the battery of the car I think was almost flat because he didn't start and then after a few times he did start but just barely so I thought I'd drive for a while in order to charge the battery so I just went to town to go to a cafe and study for a while um, so I've actually had quite a big drive already and it's going very well so I'm really happy that I already did that so that I kind of getting rid of that fear of driving hopefully um, but now I'm in Mount Cook I'm now just entering the campground in Mount Cook where I will stay tonight and then yeah after that I will see find a good camp spot that is flat and then I want to try to park exactly on the flat part and that would be awesome then I've had a very accomplished day I think oh and then I have to do the dishes um, oh. all right yes, I talk to you later I'm actually planning to make it a very calm week to do some hiking and to maybe meet some people um, but also to study I have to uh, I have to study this week um, and read and make it cozy in the van and cook and just yeah 
bright also in the evening just do a lot of mindful things that make me happy and maybe the biggest goal for me is yeah trying to or enjoying my own company um yeah and being okay with being alone and then yeah i would still love to meet some new people if it happens but if it doesn't happen that's also okay and then i'm just going to yeah to do it alone this week and um i'm only really not looking forward for the dishes because they are from yesterday and i made a curry so everything is really sticky in the pan <laughs> And I only have cold water to do it with, so probably that's going to take me a long time. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to study um, for the rest of the afternoon, I think, because it's raining. So it's not really good weather to get out. But maybe I will go for a short, uh, short walk later. I'm going to make a tea. Um, yes, that's it.
so it is now many days later um, I actually didn't film anymore after the trip the hike that I did but I I think it went really well being alone for the week um, I think one of the most important things that I realized is that it's always good to ask for help for example with with Brutus with the truck um, because the box is wider than the car itself it's really hard to look behind you so to get out of any car park it's really hard if you don't have somebody next to you who can look with you same with the mirrors so every time um, that I had to get out of a car park and I saw somebody I would just ask okay maybe have a look for me and people were always so kind and helpful and yeah that really helped me so that was so lovely after the hike I camped out for a few more days alone um, and that went really well and I think um, I'm just getting out here I think the biggest point that I realized from this week is that you know it went well but I I just love doing it with Byron also and to share the experience um, so yeah it really felt me that but I think the fact the fact that I know that I can do it alone that is really nice um, so yeah I think it was really successful right now um, I'm going to pick up Byron because he did a summit hike today but um, but I didn't join because I we went on a big hike uh, the day before yesterday so I was a bit tired so today he did a big summit hike alone and I had to study so I went to a little cafe in, here in Mount Aspiring National Park is where we are but it was what happened is um, so I asked if I could um, if I could study there for a few hours because I think it's always good to ask and then to just sit down I always find it a bit rude so I always want to ask beforehand if it's okay and then it was a very nice golden set of course and she gave me the Wi-Fi and then I ordered some breakfast and some tea because I also think that's the right thing to do if you use their electricity so I was there for a few hours and it was was really good um, but then just before I left there came a guy towards me and he said oh do you want a coffee or something because uh, you know we are not a public library and I was a bit offended by that because I felt I've actually ordered multiple things throughout the time that I was here because I think that's the right thing to do and I would never just use energy you know without asking or without investing any money in the business but I think he just didn't notice that I ordered those things and therefore he said yeah you know this energy costs quite a lot so I don't know I was a bit offended by that um, yeah I'm not sure <laughs> because I really tried to do the right thing um, but in the end it was still nice a girl that I spoke to in the morning she was really sweet and every time I ordered something she asked me how my research was going and um, so I talked to her about my research and about the study so yeah that was good and yeah so now I'm just going to pick up Byron and I'm excited to see him again and then we will see I guess what 